Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to quickly show you, I wanted to just show you the React ecosystem, the library of React and other libraries that you can use and integrate within your React web applications or your mobile app or whatever the case is. So first off in the React ecosystem, we've obviously got React, right? That's cool. So React is a front-end UI development uh, framework or library. Most people call it as a library and you can work with things like this. I, I guess it is a library. So it's a React library where you can actually work with developing your own set of components and your own front-end user, sorry, user design interfaces. So you write components with your code and markup and you can actually share this across all different components and you can make it interactive anywhere on your page so that is react right i've spoken about this before so if you if you're a react beginner i'll probably do a tutorial soon about the basics of react and how you can get around it and also check out my react native videos so the next one is react native hence not surprise what i just said so react native you learn once you write anywhere so that basically means if you build a web application you can also build a mobile app with the same set of skills this is really cool because then you don't actually have to go away and learn a different programming language language again right so this is actually what it provides it provides an app js and you can have header components and it basically what react native does it's in its words so you code it in react the react library the native part it converts your react code into swift components for ios and kotlin for android so it basically compiles it down to that language and then it displays it on the screen so that is react native to sum it up right so it's using these components which are written within those languages but it's to help us web developers create a user uh, design experience on a mobile device so that's react native the next one is redux which is a state management uh, tool library which allows you to basically manage your state of data or your states and your react and how you manage your state and react right? i don't use redux right i don't really use too much of redux at all you know i stick with stuff like react query and other stuff to do with these things i don't use redux at all i primarily stick to what is good and what is new right and in sense of trends and stuff like that obviously react uh, redux is obviously a good tool to get started with as well if you're learning how to use state and manage state and all these types of things so you know like managing the logic and you know creating stores and stuff like that so go ahead if you really want to learn react redux and you know tell me in the comments how your experience went with you know looking at it or you know writing the code and maybe ask me some recommendations or suggestions right the next up is next.js which is actually the best react framework for the web as it says right there so next.js is a framework for building web uh well basically full stack web applications high quality web applications highlights there so you can basically build the most powerful web applications using Next.js compared to any other framework. And people say, oh, well, no, Vue's better, Svelte, you know, Svelte, dude, listen, check this out. Come on, you can agree this is good. Just check out the docs. That's all you need to do. All you need to do is just click docs. Just go here and you go, wow. And then you just read through this. A lot of information. Sorry, I'll zoom out so you can read that properly. And you've got app router versus, versus pages router. Obviously, I use App Router, if anyone doesn't know. Obviously, Pages Router has a lot more videos tied to it, but it doesn't matter. So anyways, React, uh, sorry, Next.js, good, good uh, framework to get started with if you're learning React as well. Uh, and, you know, there's a thing called Create React App, and they actually suggest to hop onto Next.js and actually learn that instead of using Create React App. But the, actually, the solution to that is to actually use a thing called VJS. So... So if I go to VJS, this is what it actually says. It's the next generation tool for front-end development. And it basically re... Uh, what's the word? It replaces Create React App and it provides you a better solution called Vite, right? So I would recommend Vite instead of Create React App when you create React Apps. And the next one is Tailwind CSS. Now, a lot of people hate it. A lot of people like it, but that's the thing. People either love you for it or hate you for it. That's just a quote at the end of the day. Tailwind CSS is for rapid uh, building modern websites without ever leaving your HTML. Look at that bold statement right there. Let me just look at this example here. You can write responsive code within your HTML without, without creating a cascading style sheets file, a CSS file, separate file again in your style sheet to write out your CSS and to write your responsive design. So you can just do it within your straight up, just in your HTML and it makes your development experience a lot faster, easier, and more reliable. But I guess the one outlier the one annoying thing about tailwind css is that you've got pretty you know interesting uh code html code to look at right it just looks a bit of it's a mess 
Honestly, it's beneficial though to create modern web applications, okay? It is very clean, look at these, right? Stuff like that, you know, you don't really see in a normal <laughs> day application. Obviously, these are really cool, honestly, this, I mean, look at that, like, come on. That's, that's pretty cool. Anyways, the next one is, okay, we'll hop into the next one. I mean, look at that. I like this. Look at, look at that. Look at the design. That's just amazing. Anyway, sorry for getting a little bit distracted by the amazing UI. Let's go on to a uh, somatic UI, React somatic UI. What is this? This is another UI library for React that you can use within your React web applications or even in your Next.js project. So what does that even mean? Okay, well, Let's just take a look at this example. This is the UI. This is how the UI looks, right? That's the UI, right? And honestly, it looks pretty decent, right? Basic, the basic setup, it's easy for beginners to get started with, and it just looks clean. If we go to like, I mean, you've got a lot of components here, you can take a look at yourself, but I don't wanna be looking at that right now. I wanna take a look at some pretty interesting uh, designs. I mean, come on, look at that, that's cool. So we've got basic information here, and by header components, we've got little card components. This is probably the basic application you could get, right? Anyways, next one is called Next UI, which is actually most people's personal framework when it comes to developing Next.js web applications. Why is that? Well, check this out. Look at this amazing design here. Click this. Oh wow, look at that effect. That's amazing. Tasks, files, look at the animation. Let's get started. So let's actually take a look at the documentation. We can take a look at the documentation. It uses tail and CSS framework for the preset classes and stuff like that. You can actually just read through this. They help you set it up with V, help you set it up with Next.js, Remix and Astro. You can take out the layout design. You can check it out. Well, let's, let's just take a look at the components, yeah? So, I mean, look at that. Look at that. A button, look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. You know, when I click it, oh my gosh, that's amazing. Look at that. Things like that. It makes your web development experience a lot better than it is with you know something else right so i would recommend this to any person especially if you're a beginner because it makes your development experience look more pleasing to look at i mean your front-end experience or a end user particularly i mean look at this this is really cool the divider the drop down menu let's take a look at that open menu oh my gosh look at that so if you had a file and you just click delete file amazing what about this one okay that's even better right it's actually the same but anyways uh, let's take a look so we've got even navigation that's just the basic navigation bar what about the pagination uh, bar let's have a look oh wow look at that got a little animation and everything spacer i'm not sure i guess this is the space yeah let's take a look at the code okay well uh, so these components are pre-built so you can just import it within your web application and you'll be completely fine uh, sorry for talking fast um this is quite annoying so tabs let's say take a look at tabs oh my gosh look at that so you can have like a settings page and then you switch profiles whatever the case is you switch different sections of your application that's pretty cool i like that i like that design i like that idea it's very clean and intuitive i would say i mean just look at that anyways next we got i mean this is the same thing but you know this is really cool text area look so we've got text area description this is cool into your description amazing and yeah that's all cool and you can drag it yeah pretty pretty solid uh users well that's pretty simple it's really cool though i really do appreciate people developing these types of libraries all right that's awesome so now next is uh yeah v no that's actually it so anyways thank you guys for watching this quick video about the react ecosystem it wasn't that long I know I don't really like making long videos because it's just quite, you know, I just can't be bothered editing, as you can tell. I just can't be bothered uh, editing long videos, so I try and keep it short as possible and informative. Um, informative, sorry. Uh, I'll put the links to these websites in the description below if you're curious to check it out yourself and if you're interested in more, you know, development content like this to do with React, stay tuned. I talk about React and React only, so if you get offended when I say that Vue is terrible and Svelte and just Svelte itself is not a good framework to work with then i suggest that you do not watch my videos and uh yeah so thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it you know warm regards to those who are willing to learn and have the discipline to never give up i'm telling you now if you stick with you know your passion like in regards to you know web development or any area in just coding or software engineering programming whatever you want to call it I'm telling you right now, you'll get good at it. You just have to stay consistent. You just have to keep up with the the trends and obviously do not keep learning or, or trying to learn other frameworks all at once. Just learn one framework and you master it and you become good at your field in the field while everyone else is still messing around with other programming languages and haven't even got the first skill done. So stay tuned for more content like this and I'll see you in the next. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it.